What is up, YouTube? I am your host, Professor Sticks, back at it again with another Call of Duty Warzone video. You already know what the vibes is like. We're dropping into Rebirth Island. We're spectating some gameplay. We're trying to see if there's some bots or some absolutely cracked out players. We're trying to figure out if we can learn anything and add it to our game. And listen, guys, these guys have landed at Control Center. Now, normally I say that this place is one of my hated spots, but I'm starting to land there more often because I just feel it's actually a good place to work on your game mechanics. Getting into chaotic fights, people are camped up, people are kind of moving around. There's a lot of different layers in Control Center, a lot of different angles to take on fights. And I think it's just a great place for you guys to learn how to take on more gunfights and win more gunfights using movement and making sure that your aim is on point all right so it's getting real spicy already and you want to make sure that you find as much plates as possible because in this area where there are a lot of different angles you want to make sure you find a satchel or at least one or two plates you don't want to kind of just sit in a corner as my guy is doing right now you want to make sure you're working with somebody else maybe working with a duo or all all of you guys together and that's going to be able to make sure that you can get some trades that's the most important thing Dever, oh man, you, you see what I'm talking about? You don't want to get, you don't want to be one by one and you're just getting picked off and then might get team wiped. See, they're running in a duo. You don't ever want to be outnumbered unless you're out here outnumbering mads with your gun skills. You know what I'm saying? One before taking out a whole squad. I highly encourage trying. The clips are insane. You know what I'm saying? Like control center, it just gets absolutely insane. There's gunfire everywhere. People are going in. Lands are live pink. Oh, there we go. They're out. That's it. It just gets absolutely insane in control center. And that's why sometimes I stay away. If you're not with the right mans, don't go if you're not with the gunny don't go my man has three right now his movement is looking cracked it's prince they've got not enough money for loadout but i love how they're just right away they've wiped the team they're he's getting oh he's actually pushing a whole another team let's go this is what we're looking for the aggressiveness this is what we're looking for baby he's got four let me see what the rest of the teammates blue is literally in the thick of things oh my gosh what's blue saying Blue is literally fighting a whole squad by himself. Landing on the roof. That guy at Chowd. Ooh, it's spicy right now, man. Now, obviously, you want to try and deal with these guys as quick as you can so you can get to your loadout. Let's see what these guys are saying. Oh, his teammates are here. Ooh, good move back. There we go. Good shots absolutely insane shots look how he's repositioning now he can come back with oh. one more look at that gets out the way he's out of ammunition he needs to pick up the ksp not one of the greatest options but it's gonna go from the bottom let's see if we can make so oh no oh man so close Ooh, i thought he was about to come through and do something but he got clipped up no, don't tell me this team's about to get wiped. They were too aggressive. But oh, there's one man left. And he has the least amount of kills out of all of them. That doesn't mean he's, like, not nice. Oh! He's back up. Let's go. Got the daddy. Good push. was a head clapper oh my gosh oh my gosh <laughs> all right low white's got six let's keep spectating low white where'd that guy even come from you see what I'm talking about? He's not in a rush to res. He's just making sure nobody else is pushing. And then he's got to move away from the corner so that he can res. There we go. That's why I tell you guys, be patient. This is a high level player that we're spectating right now. We are actually going to learn a lot. So I'm, the tone's going to be a little bit different. We're going to really pick apart his gameplay and see how he plays the game. That's 
Oh, where'd this guy come from? <laughs> Yo, see, every time I give people praise, they end up just selling. Now it's he's last again. He's got to get out. Run, boy, run. Literally every time, guys, I give somebody praise. Oh, they're going to win. They lose. Oh, these guys are cracked. He gets pulled up on by somebody just crouch walking. Oh, my gosh. The irony of Warzone, man. That's that's what it's like. There's not much skill gap in this game. If if you can learn how to aim, you're going to be in good standing like that. That guy got he just got dookied on. We're gonna spectate La White again because he's he's just cracked. Where's this guy? Oh, right there, I see him. Top, he's above. Oh man. Okay, these guys have a lot of cracked movement, but their awareness needs to step up a little bit because they're moving really fast, but they're missing a lot of the details. And that can be the detriment of trying to be too cracked. You start doing all those shifty movement and all that stuff, and then you start missing the details. People are literally right there. Oh, man. Yeah, played up. He's probably going to push you, though. If I would... Ooh. Yeah, don't, don't shoulder peek if you're not ready for that. I would have at least gotten at least two to three plates while he wasn't pushing. And then why would you shoulder peek if you haven't even gotten your full second plate on yet? That was bad. Oh, we're now spectating a whole new team. Those guys absolutely got wiped. It looks like they were really on a tear right there. And that sometimes is the detriment of playing super aggressive. Because you start playing really aggressive, you're going to put yourself in bad situations sometimes. And it happens. It's not necessarily a bad thing. Because guess what? You're going to go for those... I don't know what my man was saying. I don't know what he was saying. But you're going to get into those situations where... You're going to make a mistake and that's okay, but you're going to learn from those mistakes and you're going to get better every time you learn how to take on more gunfights. What's going on here? Why isn't he rezzing? I know he's got no plates, so he's playing it a little safe. Oh, there's a team there. Okay, listen, played up. No, no, you should have had the guy that just landed rez and you played up because you have, you're ready. Oh, man. So you always want to prioritize the guy that has the most to lose, right? He's got ammunition. He's got full plates. So he's got a plate up. The guy that's landing in should do the resin because he doesn't have guns yet. He doesn't have full plates yet. So it's better for him to do the resin and then you be the lookout because you have more of the resources to be able to at least put up a fight. Because while he was rezzing, his teammate was getting plates, his teammate was getting guns, and that was not really the right time for that because there's a team pushing you. He's not even gonna be able to hold this corner, so if I were him, I would start rotating out of here. Because now you're just gonna kind of waste plates you don't have, and then, look at that. That shot literally gave away your position. It was a waste of a shot. Oh, man. Completely unnecessary shot. And now you're just you're done. You can't help out your teammates anymore because you decided to take an unnecessary shot that gave away your position. And the best thing to, for him to do since we're entering into the end game, rebirth is disabled would have been to get with his teammates so he can help him out. Woo. Woo. Stay, stay behind the box. Yep. Good. Oh, you had. You, mm. I was close, man. Nice try. I like the play there. I like the play there. Once he cracked him, though, I would have kept pushing. I would have pushed to alongside the wall that you see right there where the little computer things were. I would have pushed alongside that wall so that even if he did child, I'm not in the exact same spot. And then I know if he's going to reach out that angle, I can get my shots in. He's a couple shots. He's a couple shots from being downed, right? trying to figure out this guy's gameplay i feel like that wasted time and gas mask that he really needs right now blues on top of water tower hey don't take this shot don't take this shot you want to yo get into the zone get into zone do not take this shot thank you don't even push up there you're a gangster for pushing up there get it that's one that's oh no no this is the end game, my guy. This is the end game. You gotta be very patient. You push the whole quad by yourself? Get 
Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Get the high ground. What are you doing? Swoosh. Get the high ground. They're literally all going to be battling. Get to the high ground. If you get to the high ground, you can see everybody that's rotating in. Oh, my God. Please don't choke. Good. Like, I just feel like that was a waste. Way not to jump out the... Like, imagine if you got on the rooftop here. You would have been blessed. Listen, y'all need to get your end game awareness up. That's really what it is. You got to get your end game awareness up so you can clutch out some of these gameplays. Now, I'm not sh I'm not saying that he would have won this, but he would have had a better shot. Anyways, that's it for me, man. As always, make sure you guys hit that like button. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so you can find a way back from more quality content. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.